<laughs> Welcome to John Moy and Billy Playhouse. Today's episode, Boudreaux at the Phone Company. As our story opens, where's that music coming from? <laughs> John Boy's helping. Oh, sorry, I just tried to help. <laughs> As our story opens, Woodrow Boudreaux and his pal Justin LeBlanc arrive at the offices of South Central Bell Telephone. I don't know about this, Juice Stein. Why I want to go work for the telephone company? Look, you've been running that farm of yarn for the last five years. Ain't raised nothing but a bad case of blisters. This year, job going to pay some good money. Plus, we get a uniform, company truck, and some of them uh, health insurance benefits. It's the ticket. You wouldn't need some more money to feed that big leg new girlfriend of yours now, would you? I ain't dating Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you just watch your mouth about old Sadie. Now, she ain't fat. She just big bones. Uh-huh. There's some big meat on them bones, too, I guarantee you. <laughs> All right, here's the employing office. Now, relax. We're going to do just fine. Uh-oh. Look like somebody else done heard about this job, too. Howdy there, boys. How y'all are? What to tell you, Gerber? Hey, now. That a mighty unfriendly way to say howdy to somebody? He ain't saying howdy, you butthead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That sounded good to talk, hey, didn't huh? it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I might use that voice at home. <laughs> Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, howdy, mister. I was just down the blank. This here, my associate, Woodrow Boudreaux. We here to see about a job. What's up? Sorry, bud. Me and Glenn was here first. Yeah, y'all might as well go on and hit the road. Ah, hold on just a second. <laughs> You gonna give a job away for you evaluated on the applicators? Well, Mr. Fuller and Mr. Mace got here before y'all did, but uh, you know I do want to hire the best men for the job. Well, Sounds that... like Hang Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work for Strickland Propane. <laughs> I was the manager down there. Okay. The best men for the job? That'd be me and Glenn. We'd mop the floor with you two goobers. You had a way to talk to me, <laughs> Mr. Job Man. You want somebody with a mind like that working for you? Hey, as long as the work gets done, I don't give a poot in a pine tree how he talks. So, like, uh, you know, we got two sets of men here and only one set of a job. Maybe we need to have us a little contest. What kind of contest? Well, we're fixing to put some new telephone poles on the new bypass outside of town. i tell you what I'm going to do, fellas. There's two trucks out back loaded with some telephone poles. Now, y'all take out and start putting them poles in the ground. Now, you two start on the south end, and you two start on the... Bobby, quit that. Now, you, you two start on the north end. You bo Both sets of you boys work for an hour and come back right here. Now, whoever plants the most poles, well, that'll be the couple that gets the job. That sound right good to me. Buddy, we're going to drop y'all like a sack of taters. Yeah, like a big dumb sack of taters. <laughs> Jerks. You know, that second one almost as mouthy as the first one. <laughs> well, come on, Juice Stan. We got holes to dig. One hour later, the two teams return to the office. Well, 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 if it ain't Beavis and Butthole. <laughs> hey, don't start up with me again, Big Mouth. Good Lord, you boys look like 40 miles of bad road. Speaking of which, uh, let's see how you boys did not. Now, Mr. Fuller over there, how many telephone poles did you boys put in the ground? Twenty-four. Twenty-four? You boys been a-humping at it. Uh, Mr. Oh, LeBlanc, uh, how many poles did you two get in the ground? Three. Three? Is that all you boys could... My, my son Bobby could... Well, never mind. This bunch over here managed to do 24 poles. What's the matter with you fellers? Sure, but you go out there and look at how much of them poles they left sticking up out of the ground. I guarantee. <laughs> well, now that's just asinine. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed John Boy and Billy Playhouse. Tune in again next time when we hear Justin's big boned new girlfriend say, Hey, big man, let me hold it out. <laughs> Them boys ain't right. <laughs>